Hello, my name is Anne Ludevera and I am currently in second year research master at Hoku University at the Laboratory of Information Security. I am going to introduce you to my work on the higher bit version of approximate in homogeneous short integer solution problem. This work was realized under the direction of professors Hiroki Shizuya and Jingo Hasegawa. First, I would like to speak a little bit about lattice trapdoors and especially about lattice based one way functions. So, uh, one way function, two famous one way functions uh, in lattice based cryptography are first the hash type function f, uh, which is subjective, and then the function g, which is injective. So, both these one way functions are security realized respectively on the SIS problem and the LWE problem. So this kind of lattice-based trapdoor functions, which can be inverted with some trapdoor information, uh, permits to construct, to construct various cryptographic primitives. And also, they allow for some cryptographic functionalities. So, uh, for example, using trapdoor, you can solve the bounding distance decoding problem, or you can sample from a discrete Gaussian distribution over an, any desired coset of the lattice. So this kind of cryptographic functionalities uh, is what interested us in this work, and especially its application to hash and sign signatures. So I would like to explain a little bit the line of work uh, we are uh, following and the prior works. So first, uh, we would like uh, to introduce the construct the DPV construction in 2008, which has uh, which is a trapdoor that is a short base for the query lattice defined by the matrix A. So using this short base, they were able to give a formal proof for um, a hash and sign signature. And also they introduced a randomized approach uh, using a Gaussian sampler and doing so they could use uh, the Gaussian distribution to hide some information. So this was a really pioneer work and also uh, it was very uh, interesting. It has a few problems. In particular, the generation of IA with S was slow and complicated and it had some inefficient algorithm. So in order to furthermore optimize this uh, construction, uh, in 2012 was published the G-trapdoor construction. And so in this construction, the trapdoor is not a base for the query lattice anymore. So now the trapdoor uh, is actually some information that allows us to map the cosets of the query lattice defined by G to the cosets of the query lattice defined by A. So using this information, uh, we can invert the function defined by A by mapping it to the function defined, uh, the hash type function defined by G, which is actually easy to invert. So this construction uh, added a uh, lot of optimization when compared to uh, the GPV construction. However, uh, it still suffers from practical inefficiency and this is due to large object sizes. And so in particular in an application to hash and sign signatures uh, that would that would mean uh, large key public key and signature sizes. In order to um, optimize this even more, in 2019 was published the F trap door construction. The F trap door construction is all uh, about an approximate version of the G trap door construction. So it introduces uh, the approximate setting and uses uh, using um, this approximate setting and allowing an error on the sample pre image, they are able to reduce considerably the public key and signature sizes in uh, an in the um, hash and sign signature. So, and, but despite this optimization, uh, actually the key and signature size are still too large. So uh, to see this, uh, we can compare with NIST standardization process digital signature uh, second round candidates, so that you can see on the right here. And even if we take, for example, uh, the best parameter set in, also in order to have a uh, Key and key sizes here for 88 bit security in the F trapdoor construction. You can see that the object sizes is uh, of about 5 kilobytes. However, for better security of at least 120 bit security, all of these standardization process candidates have uh, object size that are less than around 4 kilobytes. So we really ask ourselves the question of how we can further downsizes, uh, downsize the object sizes. So especially in hash and sign signature, they would be uh, the public key and signature sizes. 
So this work will focus on this issue and uh, we obtain uh, in our results first the definition of a new problem which we named the higher bit approximate ISIS problem. So we define this problem in order to be able to work in a higher bit approximate setting. So this setting is all about discarding low weighted bits in objects and doing so we are able to downsize the modulus of the object we are working with and so to gain sizes. So we define this problem and show its reduction to the ISIS problem first. Then we adopt uh, the f construction generation and pre-image sampling algorithm so that it would fit on new setting, so the higher bit approximate setting. So we just twist the algorithm so that they would fit our setting and we obtain a public matrix and sample pre-image uh, in some sets with a smaller modulus than it used to be before. As you can see here, the modulus is divided by B power to D, which is where B is a, is a base and D would be an index which shows uh, at what high bit we, we want to discard. In order to assess the impact of the higher bit approximate setting that we are using, we decide to instantiate a hash and sign digital signature, which is a strongly existentially unforgeable under chosen message attack. And we uh, observe that our construction implies a trade off between security and memory space. So this trade off is basically due to the increase in the error on the pre sampled pre image. So we need to uh, assess if this trade-off is uh, worth it and its impact. So to do so, we use a proof of concept implementation and we obtain some pretty good and interesting results. So first uh, we see that, um, for example, to obtain a 155-bit security level, uh, we can have better key sizes than uh, the one obtained for 88-bit security in the f door construction. However, this is at the price of bigger running times. Uh, moreover, we also observe that our scheme is kind of fit to obtain some intermediate level of security with more balanced uh, object sizes than the one in uh, the f traveler construction. So it would depend on what security we want to aim at. So from now on, I would like to go into more detail about our construction. So first, uh, I would like to introduce uh, our main ID, uh, which we uh, built our construction on. So this was by observing what was done uh, to go from the D-trapdoor construction to the F-trapdoor construction. And in order to, to do so, we can actually interpret uh, what they did as a truncation of the lower bits in the D-trapdoor uh, construction, but only of the lower bits in the gadget matrix. So to explain this, here you can see uh, the definition of the gadget metric G, which is defined with regard to a gadget metro, me, vector uh, little g. And so here in the same uh, for the gadget vector, you can see that all low bits, low weighted bits have been discarded. So here the uh, gadget vector F begins from B power to L. And so we decided to extend this ID because actually the gadget matrix F uh, it can be interpreted as an object uh, that is part of this of a set with a smaller modulus, so which is divided by B power to L, where B again is a base. And so we decided to generalize this ID, but not just to the gadget matrix, but to all objects in the construction. So we act, what we actually did is kind of a truncation of the f trap door uh, scheme to downsize the modulus Q to Q divided by B power to D, which D is the parameter we will set. So to, do, to be able to do so, we have to define a new underlying uh, problem, which we named the higher bit approximate ISIS. Uh, basically, this problem is all um, is very similar to the approximate ISIS from the f trap door construction. As you can see here, uh, there is still an error due to the approximation, uh, so same as the, in the previous uh, work. However, uh, we add uh, little uh, specificities as the given matrix A is now defined in a set with the modulus Q divided by B power to D. However, we work 
afterwards uh, in the modulus Q here. So this is really the specificity of this new defined problem. And we show its reduction to the ISIS problem. And however, uh, because of this bigger approximation and so this bigger error, uh, we have greater reduction loss. Then we define the higher bit setting construction. So uh, we change the public matrix and sample pre-image from the f drop door construction. So we actually just twist them a little. So here you can see that the public matrix A0 uh, is defined in the following way. And what we observe is that what they did here uh, in regard with the g trap door construction is just as I, I explained a little bit earlier, they just took the high weighted bits of the gadget matrix G and changed it and, and then put them in the formula. So our idea is to generalize this. So what we do is we discard low weighted bits in this term as well and also in this term. So we get actually only the high weighted bits of the original public matrix and then we kind of normalize it uh, by dividing it by B power to D. So uh, we also use a little bit of trick on the pre-image so that we can downsize its modulus as well. And this trick is just by uh, observing the fact that we are only interested in the product of the public matrix to the pre-image. So actually, now that we have discarded low weighted bits in the public matrix, we see that the high weighted bits in the pre-image are no longer needed in the product. So we just discard them and doing so, we can also downsize the modulus. Unfortunately, this change in the public matrix and the sample pre-image has an impact on the error term. So this means that the error term is increased by our construction and our setting. So as you can see in this formula, uh, the original uh, error term is increased with a new one, which is basically uh, due to our modification and is how actually the low weighted bits in the public matrix uh, multiplied by the pre-image. So this is what defines a new error term, which will have an impact on security later on. Later on. But uh, following this construction, we were able to twist a little bit the trapdoor generation and pre-image sampling algorithm from the f trapdoor construction so that we they would fit the higher bit approximate setting and thus we could use them in uh, cryptographic applications. So we uh, then instantiate a hash and sign signature scheme using this previously defined algorithm. So the hash and sign signature scheme construction is pretty straightforward as uh, the, we get, if we get a message, we take its hash and uh, we will use the Gaussian sampler to get an approximate pre-image for uh, the hash of the message that we received. So we take the pre-image of the message by of the hash of the message by our uh, matrix A that we multiply by B power to D and then the signature will be this approximate pre-image. So uh, what is uh, important here that our hash and sign signature scheme is strongly existentially enforceable under chosen message attack and its uh, harness relies on the security uh, relies on the harness of the SIS and LWE problem. And what will be uh, uh, our focus will be the SIS problem because it is the one where our uh, construction has a big impact on. So it will be the one where security will be more difficult to achieve. So this, uh, this is because of this term added term in here. So from now on, I will be speaking a little bit about the analysis that we did and the results we obtained. So first of all, uh, we need to observe uh, the trade-off that is implied by the higher bit approximate setting. Uh, this is due to, again, the uh, increase in the approximation error. So this error ends up uh, uh, in the reduction as an increase in the norm of the short solution in the underlying SAS problem. So here in red, you can see uh, the added term. Uh, so this will be a, a problem as it will uh, decrease our security. However, of course, we also can see the impact on the size, on the object sizes, which uh, give, give us better uh, sizes for significant and public key. So we really here have a trade-off between size and security. So in order to um, 
be able to assess this trade-off, we use a proof of concept implementation. So uh, for the implementation, we use the same one that was used in the paper uh, in 2019 uh, for the f block construction. And we are very great grateful to Dr. Chen, who provided us with uh, this uh, implementation. Here you can find the results of our proof of concept implementation. So on the right, the three columns would be the parameter set in our work. And on the left, you would have the results of the f block construction. So um, on the most, the rightmost column uh, is actually um, a result that we had before, but uh, and which is uh, the one presented in our paper. However, we recently uh, found better results. So this would be the two columns, which I'm going to be the presenting now. First, uh, I would like to speak about the this fourth column where we uh, we were able to find 155 bit security with some pretty uh, small key sizes. So, for example, here we get 3.84 public key size, so 3.84 kilobytes, and 4.5 kilobytes for the signature size. So if you want to, for example, to compare this result with the first column in the f block construction, you can see that we get better security. So we have 155-bit uh, security, and here it is 88-bit security. And we also have better key sizes. So this is uh, really uh, interesting for us. Uh, however, it does have a downside, which is uh, the increase in the security parameter. So this, in, this increase in the security parameter is actually what allows us to have a better security. Uh, however, it's uh, also a downside because it uh, gives a bigger running time. So if we wanted to keep the same security parameter, we would see here really the result of the trade-off in our setting. So we get a uh, way smaller um, public key and signature size. However, we only get 75 bit security. So this is a uh, well a consequence of our trade off. But we can see that uh, thus our <clears throat> our construction is interesting to have some different security level with like better balance uh, object sizes or also to have just better security and better object sizes at the price of uh, bigger running times. Also, one interesting fact that we may note is actually that uh, to have good parameter sets in our construction, we use a pretty big uh, um, modulus uh, and, uh, and parameter so that we can have actually a high uh, parameter L and D so that we actually, because we discard a lot of our, um, of our low weighted bits, we are able to use a bigger K parameter. So if we do a little bit of a comparison again with the new standardization process digital signatures candidate, we can see that uh, in our work, we get some more competitive uh, sizes. Uh, if we don't think about running time, of course, if we only focus on sizes, we get some more competitive. So for example, here in 155 bit security, uh, we have some uh, about well, approximately around same size than in Qtesla, except for a signature. Uh, so, of course, uh, this is not still uh, perfect as it is still uh, bigger than, for example, in Dilithium in Falcon. However, it is closer and we get more um, more competitive to this uh, sign digital signatures. Mm. To conclude, in this work, we defined a new problem, which we named the higher bit approximate ISIS. This new problem allows us to work in a new environment, which would be the higher bit approximate setting. So this allows us to downsize the modulus and work with smaller modulus in the objects, while get is still having original modulus in the construction. However, this setting uh, implies a trade-off between sizes, object sizes, and security level. When we also we did an application to a signature scheme that we instantiated and we got some interesting results regarding different levels of security. So in example, we got good parameter sets to obtain 75 bit security and also 155 bit security. However, if we want to um, lessen this trade off, the trade off between size and security level, we still have to take into account running times. Thank you for listening uh, to me for this presentation.